Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, look at it. Look at it. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think, Chach? Probably something in there. One, two. Ho oh, ho! Oh. All right, everybody, we're here with the Chachi paparazzi, working late night again. This is the antique, collectible, who knows what kind of goodness we're going to get out of here. But we got all these totes to go through over here. It's antique furniture. There's cool stuff in the drawers in this one. We have no clue what's inside that cedar chest there. We're going to work our way to the back. We gotta load up the truck, get everything out of here. So, we're gonna start loading and loading and loading. All right, everybody. So, we're gonna start looking through some of these things and then we'll get to this cedar chest, see what's inside there. We're gonna work our way over this way, see what's in some of these boxes. Chachi, the paparazzi. We're gonna go ahead and take a look. So first off, we got this right here. That's another old crate. And you can just tell how the writing is. It's turn of the century. And look at that. It says Wound Socket Rubber Company. Child's Long Boot. So this was a boot or boots came in this crate. So talk about an old shoe box, huh? <laughs> turn of the century and the inside. So said we got some vintage goodness in here. The original battleship. We got cross cubes. High Q. Sounds like it's in there. Mastermind. And score four. four. And let's see what's inside the bag. Oh, nice. Yes. Yes. Awesome. I'm so pumped right now. Oh, man. I'm taking the gloves off for this. Dun, 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 dun. Chachi. Look it, look it, look it. Oh my gosh, Ch Chachi. Oh, 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 dude. Dude. Check. Oh, sorry, that one's already messed up. But look at, oh my gosh, don't drop them around. Oh, look at the condition of these. Set them down right here for a second. These are original Hot Wheel Red Lines. See the red lines right there? Look at the bottom. You can tell they're original. These are 1960s red lines. And I told people before, I sold one of these one time for $450. But, you know, that's not typical. But a lot of these are worth five, 10, 20. Some are worth 50 to $100 a piece. And we're not done. We're not done. I think there's more in here. Oh, yeah. What the? Look at that. Look at that. This is not a Hot Wheels. I never seen it before, so I knew it wasn't a red line. This is a Johnny Lightning. All these other ones, these are Hot Wheel red lines. But the thing about these that I'm looking at, I mean, look, get close up here, Chach. The condition. You see how the paint is in good condition? I mean, I remember kids banging these around. Yeah, there's a couple little scratches, but I mean, the decal's still on that one. You know, this one, I mean, wheels are still straight on them all, and I don't know what this is. I never seen this before in my life, and when I don't see things, I'm, I'm always get pumped because it has red line tires on it. So I'm gonna have to do some research on that one. That might be a, a big, big, my, big, big money piece. I don't know, but I mean, man, I'm so pumped. And here's the rest of the stuff. To the plate. Oh, there's still more. Oh, nice. This just has the big metal roller in there, plastic car vintage piece, and another. Oh, that's a Johnny Lightning, too. So we got two Johnny Lightnings and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight possible Hot Wheel Red Lines. Plus, we found four the other day and the rest of the parts for our track. Man, I'm pumped. I'm pumped. Who knows what else we're going to find. Once again, as soon as we start digging, we just find great stuff. I mean, Chachi, he's excited. He wants to play with Hot Wheels now. He doesn't want to work anymore. So let's see what else we can find. <laughs> All right, man. So exciting. 
keep finding awesome stuff in this unit. It was just, I, I mean, I wish it was packed all the way to the back full of stuff. But there's a nice furniture back there, and who knows, there could be stuff in the drawers. We already found cool stuff in this drawer here. We got the cedar chest still to go through. All right, let's open this one up. All right. Now it's books. And usually books don't excite me or anything else, but man, we found some awesome books in this unit already. One from 1780. I mean, I was telling my son today, I said, what year was the United States became a country? Uh... 17, uh, like 1776. This is four years after the United States came a country. So these are kids' books. Once again, it has the dust jacket. That's a big, big plus. And I can tell you right here, this is an old book. Samantha at the World's Fair. Look at it. right there, 1893. And. I mean, for a book that's from 1893, the condition's pretty good. The binding's one of the first things you want to check, because this always gets ripped from people opening everything else. Also, you want to look for a hair. You get book worms, and you'll see little holes in there, but I mean, condition-wise, for a book that's a hundred and how many years old, it's in pretty good shape. And I'm just looking at here, next book, The, Children, the Child's Hansel and Gretel. Now, here's what I'm talking about, binding. See the binding destroyed on this book? Right there, the value just went way down. But once again, it could be a valuable book. You have to do some research. Just because a book's old doesn't make it valuable. I tell people that all the time. It's really subject matter who wrote the book. You see that? What name's on that book, Chachi? Eve's Diary. Well, that's the name of the book, but who wrote it? Mark Twain. You ever hear of Mark Twain? Yeah, you used to live next door. Mark <laughs> Twain used to live next door to him over on 58. <laughs> but anyways, so 1916 right there. But let's see. Oh man. Trying to find a date in here. There, there it is. Copyright 1905-1906 by Harper Brothers. Published June 1906. I guarantee you, this is, I can't guarantee you, but it's probably a first edition, that American edition, whatever, but these diary right there. Man, I'm just excited. I can't, I know you guys don't want to see me go through every book here, so I'm just going to look down, if you have anything else that strikes my eye. But I mean, I see lots of cool boom right here. Once again, dust jacket. That's a big, big plus. You know. So right there, Cadbury MCM XXX2. So I have to do my Roman numerals, but I can tell you it's already probably 18 something, 19 something. Man. About Norway, published 1938. I just want to look at these pictures. Oh, no way. You ever hear of this book? No. Never heard of Bambi? No, I've seen the cartoon, though. Seen the cartoon? <laughs> Alright, I'm sure the movie's probably based off of this book. And let's see. It has the dust jacket with it. See the date? 1928. You see the date? It's 1928. Money, man. Oh. I mean, it's, it's got to be worth something. I mean, there's a stain on the dust jacket, but it has the dust jacket from 1928. I, I believe it's the first printing. And I just keep looking down. I mean, this whole box is, I mean, like I said, I don't get excited about books, but these people had some good books. Poems of Eugene Fields. One of these things you just gotta look up. Poems are good things to have. Another book right here has the dust jacket. Who was that? That's uh, who that Lorna Doom. What was that, buddy? Who was that? Who was that Lorna Doom? I don't know. Yeah. Did she made cookies. <laughs> World's Fair number. The Cosmopolitan, 1893. Price 12 and a half cents. That's when they used to have half cents. Awesome. Man. 
So, I mean, it's, I, oh, I'm so excited. And I don't get excited about books, but I mean, this unit's just got me going. I mean, this is vintage gold right here. I mean, weathering the heights. Classic books right here. With the dust shakes. That's what makes me more excited. So, I'll have to do some research on these. Even, even Chachi over here is excited. He might not even work the rest of the day. He might just start reading one of his books. So, we're going to keep working our way in. Who knows what else we're going to find. I mean, man, it's been so much vintage goodness. So I'm pumped up. Alright, Chachi and I are dividing and conquering here. Loading up and going through some stuff for you guys. So right here. This got knocked over before. But... Here goes the train, I'll talk a little louder. 1941. And uh, like I said before, I talked to the people that have the place, and unfortunately can't get a hold of the family, so there's no one to give these back to. So all the letters, photos, and things like that, I'm either gonna have to dispose of or sell. So it just depends. 1940 stamps. This whole thing is just full of old letters, stamps, and, you know, who knows. 1941, buy defense saving bonds. Very cool, lots of old letters. This whole box is loaded. Oh no, these old letters. Ooh, what's this? A whole name tag right there. Freeman Bell, New York. We can get all these letters back in there. And then we got another one of these. Oh. Before the war bonds. Wow, this whole thing says all 1939. So all these look like they might be in order from different years. I don't know who the correspondences are, if there's pictures or anything inside. So we'll have to look through all that. And I'm assuming all these. Your social security card. More 1939. I'm just interested to see what's in here. Wow. History C. So it looks like some kind of scrapbook. I have no clue about it. Alcatraz, it looks like. Captured men. So maybe these guys try to escape from Alcatraz. I have to read it about it right here. A general view, county penitentiary. Three kidnappers escaped. It looks like it's in Onondaga County, I don't know. Then we got another scrapbook, it looks like here. Oh, look at this. Got old photos. So some kind of scrapbook. I usually sell these together. Oh, man. Mount Vernon, George Washington's home. I guess it's just like a notebook, but that's an old notebook. I mean, that's cool. There's another one in here. This one's got old sheet music in there. I mean, you don't know where you're gonna find in this. Oh man, this keeps going. We'll go real quick. There's old paper here, but 1937. Looks like a report got an A on it. A B plus. Give these to my daughter. Joke for school. Look at this. Old cut up from magazine. Oh man. Looks like another old scrapbook. So definitely some money in here. I'm assuming this looks like it's full. 
all old letters. So, definitely some interesting pieces. And I love history, so that's one reason I love doing it. Chachi likes to make the money, that's one reason he does it. <laughs> Alright, I don't even know which way to go. We're going to go right this way, Chachi. Crowns people with cedar chest. We're gonna go to cedar chest and bring it down. All right, everybody, look at this old trunk. Who knows what's inside? There's definitely stuff in it. The TV was put on top of there, so I don't know if it touched it. One, two, three. All right. Yeah, let's go. Kind of box, we'll open this in a minute. We'll leave that for last. It smells like mothballs. John, can you smell it? Yeah. It smells like mothballs. Man, look at this purse. It's an old purse. Real Welsh tapestry, all wool. Uh, let's see what we got in here. Oh, looking good today. You always got to check the purse. Jewelry, sometimes I found in purses, money, change, and especially something this old. You can find some silver quarters, dollars, who knows. So it looks like it's all just blankets, blankets, and blankets. And it's really old. This is how it's made. Now the question is, this little tiny compartment right here, is there anything awesome in there? What do you think, Chachi? I don't know, but... Yes or no? Seen, yes yeah. or no question? No. No? I'm saying yes. All right. There's something in there. <laughs> That's what we got, ladies and gentlemen. First we got this. This wood stick dial thing. This is what Chachi gets. <laughs> this is what I get. So I don't know. It says Hudson's. I don't know what Hudson's is. Please be something awesome. Please, please, please. One, two, three. No. So. A little, it looks like for a quilt patch, quilt thing or something. So that's what was inside this big old trunk. It was on top of this awesome dresser. It's super old with these awesome knobs. You see these knobs, Chachi? They're awesome. So we're going to move these two pieces into the truck. And then this way we can start working our way. We got this way to go. We got all these totes to go over here. Those boxes, those boxes, another tote here, another box here, box here. Who knows what else is back here? So we'll keep, just keep watching. And I'm sure we'll add some more to this video, and then we're going to have have another video. So this unit just keeps providing awesome videos because there's awesome stuff, antiques, collectibles, things from the 18th century, 19th century, 20th century. I mean, Chachi, he doesn't even know what to make of it. He's, he's flabbergasted, they say. So, that's what the kids say nowadays, I heard. All right. No. We'll see. All right, buddy. We're going to come over here, take a look on top of this dresser, see what's inside this dresser real quick. First, we got this little decorative box here. There's something inside of it. It's a little nativity wood carved set. Pretty interesting. So we got this here. So we sit on top of here. We'll put this stuff. All right. We got this uh, vaporizer in the box. Let's see if it's in there. So it's in there. Old vaporizer, glass vaporizer. Has, it's worth a few dollars. All right. Antique little uh, luggage stand, whatever you want to call it. But it's old, just can tell by the wood. Mm -hmm. Got a couple baskets here. A little piece of a uh, Chinese silk, maybe. Card table. Here. Oh man, oh man, it is loaded. 
So let's see what we got. Mother. The Indian prayer. I have this actually at my shop, so grant that. I may not criticize my neighbor until I walked a mile in his moccasins. Looks like we got belts here. You always gotta look to see these could be sterling silver tips, you know. So you have to look at that. They don't look like they are, but they we got more belts here. Oh no, what's this? Oh, it's a pen holder, I think. Made of leather, nice vintage stuff. Thought these are jewelry boxes, but it looks like shoe polish, shoe polish. What's that? What's that? Look at that. Nice finished pocket knife right there. I don't know what else is in here. Looks like a little tool set. But some of these pocket knives could be worth a hundred. So I'll wait till later to get it out. Keep going through this drawer. Hey, what is this? That is cool. The glass is broken. But they took this old meter, water meter in New York. That's really cool with the Neptune symbol on there, and they made it into a clock. So, empty. Oh, oh, what's this? What's this? Something in there. Let's see what it is. This is to make, I think, like your mark on the stuff. Maybe. I'll have to look into it. This thing's just packed, man. Who knows what else is in here? We'll have to keep looking. Alright, we're going to keep looking, see what else is in here. Make a noise. Still works. Love for always. The picture frame. Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, look at it. Look at it. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think, Chach? Probably something in there. One, two. Oh, ho ho! Look at that. Yeah. Oh, there's a whole coin down there. This is sterling silver right here. I can see this first piece says sterling right on there. And this might all be sterling in here. Oh man. We got some tie clips. One of these are gold. That's big money. I can't see any marks right now. I have to look in better light. Oh man, awesome. What else we got? sewing kit. Wow. This is the first door. Little screwdriver set. That little thing, I don't even know what it is, but I mean, I just can tell how old this is by looking at it. This is definitely, I mean, 1800s, maybe earlier. We got a picture inside there. There might be a picture behind there. You got to take the picture out because sometimes, and I don't know, is this sterling? Maybe it's not as old as I thought. It's definitely old, though. It looks like sterling. It's not sterling. It might not be that old, but I want to have to look at it, see if there's a mark. I'm going to put it in this box right here. Cool little wood carved horse. 
I feel like I'm missing something else in here, so I'll have to go back through this later. Ooh, oh, that was that magnifying glass. It's a power so I'll go back through it later. See if there's anything else I missed. But man, we got a couple little cool things here. And uh, we'll see what else we can find. Man, this unit's awesome. I mean, it's a great antique collectible unit, and don't know what we're going to find. Chachi speeches. <laughs>